It's got to be clear. It has to be clear. You have to explain to people what you saw and why you think it's important for them to know what you saw. I know that people, I, that Arlene Croce was supposed to be one of the world's great dance critics, and I think she probably was. I could not get through her reviews. I, I just couldn't. Um, they were so dense uh, in my feeling. And what I always think, what happens to me is if I'm reading something, and I think I'm a moderately intelligent person. If after three or four paragraphs, I have no idea what someone's talking about, I get mad. I say, well, I'm moving on. I've just been insulted. You, you aren't speaking to me in a way that I can understand. So that's what I always keep in mind. I, I, that's what I think is just incredibly important. I want to see the image. I want a, a writer to give me a sense of what that body looked moving through space. And it doesn't have to be full of jargon. It doesn't. I, I remember in, in terms of music writing, Virgil Thompson is a fabulous music critic. And the unfortunate thing was that his writing was so clear and he used so few words of musical jargon that none of the rest of us who wrote about music ever had any excuse for not being clear. Because if Virgil Thompson, who is stunningly insightful, if he could do it, then you know, come on. And plus you want to get people excited. I think if something is fabulous, you want to let them know very clearly how fabulous it was.